Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Hearthstone. Today it is time to check out what this week's Tavern Brawl is gonna be all about. Now I'm ready for those crazy rules. I haven't actually clicked the button just yet, but I think the voice actor has long, long gone. I don't know where he's at. Every time I hope there's gonna be a new set of crazy rules each week. Although, having said that, too many portals does sound very, very familiar. Anyways, the Master Mages of Dalaran have gone too far this time. Opening up hundreds of portals. Yeah, we've had this one before. Choose a class and use a few spells and a whole lot of portals to defeat your rifles. Alrighty, so apparently we're gonna be running with some pre-made decks here. Um, I don't actually know which to choose, so I'm gonna close my eyes here. Click any of them. Did I click anything? Oh, I clicked something. Oh, okay. Looks like we got Warrior. Sweet! Garrosh versus Jaina. You asked for it. Victory or death! Alrighty. So here we go. We got the unstable portals ready to go. Um, I guess we'll keep Bolster, though. I don't think I really should be keeping Whirlwind. Obviously, these are pre-made decks. So I'm not exactly sure what we got running in here and what, like, I really should be mulliganing for, but... I guess this is all right. I guess this is all right. We're up against a guy known by the name of Torch here, who's running the Heroes of the Storm card back. I guess no matter what though, we're gonna go ahead and just see if we get something. All right, we got Stalag here. So obviously this is like RNG heaven, right? There's gonna be a little bit of skill here, but ideally we're gonna get some of the legendary minions. So Stalag definitely is not a bad option. He's pretty dang powerful. That is seven attack every single turn. Obviously, does depend on what my opponent gets. Do we play him here? I mean, it's a free board, right? We may as well. We get lucky, actually. Right off the bat, we get a legendary that has a lot of attack damage. I don't know if he's running any kind of, like, spells. Well, other than the unstable portal. We'll see. Alright. Wait, what exactly? A Magnetor Alpha also damages the minion next to whomever he attacks. Oh, I see how it is. Um, I mean... I could, I could bolster, I could bolster, which actually would work out just fine. We could do it, actually. I mean, it's still gonna kill it with the ping, though. Nah, we're not gonna wait. Nah, nah, we'll just hit him in the face. Holy crap, we got two legendaries? As like, alright, alright, well. I'll just hit him in the face. I'm okay with that. Tyrion Fortring, obviously, also being extremely good. We've already got two legendaries in a row there. Although, to be fair, he also does have a pretty good, uh... Ooh, he also does have a pretty good setup there. That was actually really well done by him. Nice. Hmm, it's okay though. We've got Tyrion, right? Eventually we'll be able to overrun him. Although he's got a lot of damage here already. And also that one attack from the Stone Tusk Boar. Uh, I guess it is a face, a face warrior now. Oh my god. Not Tyrion, not Tyrion. Not Let's try that again. Let's try that again. That was a little bit unlucky on my end for certain after drawing two legendaries in a row. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Obviously, like, I didn't necessarily lose the game there, but we had the worst, like, I don't know. We had a really, really poor opener uh, right there. I mean,. My opponent was going to be able to do like 20 damage in one turn, and I was very, very unlikely to crawl back into that one. So, you know, let's just start fresh. Let's start up against Parablo PL. Don't know exactly what PL would stand for. I guess it would be Poland. That's the right, though. Alrighty. So, coining out the unstable portals. What a surprise. He's actually running a Shaman. Which is a little bit, um, you know, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. You don't usually see Shaman all too much, but anyways, we got a captured Jormonger here, which is gonna be a, a four mana five nine now. Ooh, this actually does have a very solid death rattle there. I wish I could kill it, but sadly, it's not gonna be quite the case here. Ha! The Murloc Raider, though. That Murloc Raider will change everything. <laughs> I do have to make sure though that we uh, that we kill that dude before, uh, or like that kill that minion. Ideally, before he puts out anything else out on the board. Do I really... Do I really waste my entire turn on this? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. We hit him. Hit him in the face. We'll go for the Bastion the next turn if we still need to. 
Obviously, he's also gonna be running a couple of shaman cards like Krakow or whatnot, I guess. Ooh, that's a very good one. Alrighty. We'll hit that thing. Then bash him down as well. I probably should have unstable portals first, whatever. I guess no one is, uh... That's not considered a beast, is it? No. Um, no one is really running any kinds of, uh, you know, hero powers anyway, right? Basically, every time you hero power, you just unstable portal. Which, arguably, is the strongest hero power in the game. Let's be real. Hmm. He's just going full face, isn't he? I mean, we got another bash, once again. This time around, I am gonna go ahead and unstable portal first. That is still a good minion, by the way, even if it's just like, ooh. All right. I was gonna say, like, that is still a good minion either way. Um, you know what? Let's just play him. Wait, do we have a beast? Is that a beast? Oh, shit, that is considered a beast. All right, never mind. We'll just play it then. Um, whenever another minion Murloc dies, draw a card. Sweet. We'll go ahead and play it. It's gonna overload me a little next turn, but I mean, it's still a quite a BV card. And I guess we got a couple of good things right now out on the board anyway, right? Here we go, Pyro Blow. You gotta, you gotta have to bring something better to the party than this. Ooh, injured uh, Blade Master, pretty good if you have a Ring of Healing, but... Hmm. Just gonna go ahead and Lava Burst that down. I'm okay with all of this. Uh, I guess I can now play Hammond, right? Yeah, I can play Hammond if I wanna. Okay, let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna bash him down. I'm just gonna bash him down. Charge up one of my other minions. Probably don't want to hit face here. Just because uh, the chance of me getting another weapon is relatively small anyway. So I think it's a little bit smarter this way. Did end up playing the uh, the dude right there just because we can get some more damage in with him in the next turn. Already starting to uh, drop him relatively low here. Okay. It's gonna go ahead and lava shock here. Nice done. Uh, nicely done, I suppose. Cobalts are also not regarded beasts, are they? Not quite. Ooh. That's interesting. We are running shield slams. I kind of do want to kill that dude, but it's not really much of a priority, I suppose. That'll do. Hmm. Do we really, do we really just, like, alright, fine, we'll play him. Whatever. We'll hit him in the face. We'll just hit him in the face. Keep the, uh, keep the weapon once again. I got five armor right now, which means that the shield slime is still gonna be rather good. I mean, this is not, this is not looking too bad, actually. I mean, he's got a lot of cards in hand, so I'm not exactly sure what he's running, but I highly doubt he's gonna be running any kind of, like, lightning storms and all that sort of stuff. Ooh. So he's holding a dragon as well. Oh, he's running a lightning storm. Dang it. Did he just get that just now or like... Oh, man. That was kind of scary, I suppose. All right, at least we got a shield slam. Yeah, yeah, no. I guess we'll have to hit that thing, right? Not much of a... Not much of a choice. Got very little card draw, actually. I can imagine if you're a Warlock, you're probably gonna have a field day here. Because if you ever get to the higher mana counts, obviously Warlock is gonna be far superior, right? Am I crazy for saying that? Oh my god. Guess we found out what kind of dragon he was indeed running. We're gonna need some RNG luck now, I'm afraid. Let's go ahead and shoot block. We do get another unstable portal from it as well. And a totem golem. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Could have been way worse. Okay, I got a lot of armor here. I got a ton of armor. But the fact of the matter is that I don't have any options. Like, I got, like, you know, I got very little card draw here. Got none, really. <laughs> so, yeah, Power Blow may very well be able to pick up a victory here. Unless I get some really good RNG now. This is not looking in our favor whatsoever, though. We gotta get that free card back. He's running a lot of dragons. 
somehow, some way, magically managed to get dragons out. Okay, okay, we're gonna need Tyrion or something. Wow, not a river crocolisk, really, but hey, we'll play him. Yep, we got a lot of armor, but I mean, no, no matter what, right? No matter what, it's not gonna be great. Whenever you draw a card, put not a copy of it in your hand, so he's gonna have a ton of cards. Hey, he's got so many dragons! What a lucky guy! No, man. Apparently, we're just gonna watch him, um... You know, create more high-end minions. Alrighty. Just gonna go ahead and armor up here. Which... He's actually also gonna clean up board, wow. Which, in all honesty, basically means that we have absolutely no chance of winning anymore. He's got a full board, though. Or well, close to it. Here, I'll give him a buff up. I'll give him a buff up while hitting the concede button once again. Alright, Falera. You're going down. Victory or death, you ready? Victory or death! Exactly. So far, we're mostly getting death. I'm actually gonna mulligan away a bunch of unstable portals. Just to see if we could get an unstable portal back. Oh, we actually do get some cards here as well. Okay, Heroic Strike actually pretty good. Don't know exactly what kind of warrior cards are really in this deck, but... I mean, the fact that we got coin here is very nice as well. Seems like the player with the coin definitely has the upper hand. Because, I mean, we get the very first... You know, we get the very first unstable portal out. Well, you know, pretty much every time. I don't know if there's any druids with any kinds of interface or whatever, but... Okay, so he doesn't have anything here so far. Hmm. I do have to say, I like that Earth Elemental, although we're not going to be able to play it in the next turn. Because that would just overload us pretty badly. Um, it's going to overload us for three, so if I play it at turn four, we're still going to be able to have something in the... You know, ideally we don't play it until turn five, but we'll see. Wait, what? Whenever you... Whenever you draw a card, reduce it cost by one. Oh, all right, I see. There's so many cards in the game that I've just barely ever seen before. It's pretty, yeah, pretty funny how that works, I suppose. Uh, we can always whirlwind and down if all things go terribly. Hmm. We could play it right now. Whirlwind. Hit him, right? I think that was the correct move. I think that makes a lot of sense. The next turn we can put up that Earth Elemental and get like the sickest, beefiest cards out, right? Yeah, this is good. This is nice. All right, Texit. I have no idea what your name means. It looks uh, it looks like the Russian font, I believe. They use a bit of a different font in the game. All right, just in case though, I'm gonna go ahead and steal a portal. Combo, deal one damage. Alrighty. Boom. Got that 7-8 out as well. <clears throat> very powerful board here, very powerful board. We got 15 damage a turn now, obviously on top of the Heroic Strike, which we can go ahead and use in the next turn. So, you know, yeah, we are in a really good spot now. We got a lot of damage, we got a lot of damage. If he decides to like, weapon up and like, hit the Earth Elemental, it's game over. Although I would be very surprised if he would do that. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. He's got the Core Rager. I'm okay with that core rager, and he's also got the Angel of War. All right, so the Angel of War definitely is a solid card. Uh, let's see. I think we do want to clear out the board, right? A little bit of damage to the face. The face is the place, right? Here we go. No, actually, <clears throat> that would only really count for my opponent's face. We gotta also think of the amount of cards we're really drawing, obviously, because next turn I am gonna once again draw a little low in cards. I mean, I'm gonna be able to play like three of these unstable portals, obviously, so... Hmm... Ugh. I pack a big punch! Alright, so he kills that card. <clears throat> Your minions can't be reduced below one health this turn. Draw a card. Wait, what? I have never seen a commanding shout before either. 
Your minions can't be reduced below one health this turn, so that means that they can't die. If I understand correctly. You know what? We'll unstable portal first, but that does sound pretty promising. Alright. I don't think I'm running any one close minion. Nope. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, gain plus two attack. Holy crap, that is good. Ooh, that's really good. I was gonna say I want to go for the commanding shout here, but obviously every every single one of these um, every single one of these portals is gonna be uh, is gonna be a, a spell, right? So that's really good. That rock jaw truck is gonna be really annoying for my opponent to do with. Not bad. Yeah, I wanted to go commanding shout and kill the mini microbot, but you know, eh, I'm okay with that. Wait, what? Oh, he's got like a, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called? The, 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 throwing, the throwing dagger type thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. The combo thing that does four damage. I guess he may just be digging first to see if he's got anything useful. Although I'm not exactly sure what he's planning on doing next. Um. Oh, he's gonna go shiv? Oh, Alright, let's see what he's doing. That makes sense then. I don't think he would want to run that minion in, but this will work out just fine for me as well. Um, alrighty. Time for some more unstable portals. First off, we got Alex Strass's champion. If you're holding a dragon, gain plus one attack and charge. Well, I don't have any dragons in hand, but maybe you can get one. Not quite a dragon, still pretty good. Alright. We'll just hit him in the face once more. Sadly, uh, not quite enough damage here to kill him. Ragnaros would have worked out beautifully, though. We're still very high in health, and Ragnaros is almost always going to RNG at least once in our favor, right? So, I can't imagine us very much losing this. We should have at least two or three, like, attacks with Rag. Do you think he has any kind of taunt? That would be funny. That would be pretty funny if he somehow some way gets a really big taunt out. Uh, I don't think so. Pack a big punch. He's getting a lot of micro machines, but oh wow Alrighty, there's still a chance we can get really dirty though Can I clean up these minions anyway, I mean I still need to do two attack as well to his face, right? <clears throat> so we kill that we kill that Ugh, We're actually gonna be a little low. We're gonna be a little short we need to do two damage to his face, or I guess RNG risk it, which is fine as well. Um, well, just because I can, I guess we'll do a commanding shout as well. Probably actually should have done it a little sooner, but whatever. All right. All right. All right, Rag. You got it. It's all up to you now. Boom. Sweet. Thank you very much, Ragnaros. Appreciate that. You know what? I actually currently have a quest to um, to win two games with a warrior. So I may as well just go ahead and, you know, win two games with a warrior, right? Even though so far, we're not in a positive win-loss yet. This should be good. We once again do get the coin here, which is nice. We also have a bouncing blade. I wonder if it actually randomizes my deck every time, because I seem to be getting different cards in there. Although I'm not certain that is the case, though. So deal one damage to a random minion, repeat until a minion dies. Pretty good. Hello. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> greetings. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Ooh, all right. This is very nice. Always really do like these kind of cards. I used to run a bit of a phase warrior at some point. I remember this card being like the golden draw. You know what? We're not gonna play him. Ah. Uh, it's alright. It obviously also does affect his minions. So we could potentially, obviously, you know, just let it die in the next turn. If he's gonna play a minion, that is. He may not be able to. Cool. That's okay with me. Question is, Corcoran Elite here, or do we go on Stable Portal? This is obviously going to be a one-mana card. The thing is, it's gonna probably get a multiple hits off, and I think this makes a little bit more sense. 
I think this makes a little bit more sense here in the end. Got to keep in mind that the Bazing Blades will be hitting friendlies as well, so... As far as I'm aware, at the very least, I haven't actually ever played that card, I don't think. I don't think I own one. It's one of these uh, epic kind of cards, right, that you're not really going to craft anytime soon. <laughs> Although it can be pretty good, but... I think the Mana Raid may very well be an annoying-ass card for him. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and Arcane Blast it down now, which I'm okay with. All right. Um, I can just kill it, so I don't really need to rush anything. Um, we got a Captured Jormonger once more. I mean, I'm not getting any card draw out of Jeeves right now, so I guess it was basically just a meat shield. I'm sorry, Jeeves. You always make me think of, like, that Pokemon. What was that Pokemon called again? From, uh, from, like, the, the house Pokemon, you know? That Ash Ketchum mom has? I don't remember what that one was called, but anyways. Jeeves sort of makes me think of that. He's like the robot butler type thing. Oof. Alright, alright. <laughs> no minions in each deck, obviously. There's just simply no minions. So he's not gonna get charged. Fair enough. Fair enough. We can kill that with a bash, though. This thing is down. He's trying to read it. Like, look at him. We could have seen it, actually. It was just mousing over. He's like, wait, what? Oh, you should have played those the other way around, sir. Oh, that's okay, though. Not complaining. Don't get me wrong, sir. I'm not complaining. Oof. The dreams. The literal dreams. Um, you know what? We'll just kill him. That Murloc will hold the board just fine. Next turn we go, Ysira. We're gonna be in a beautiful spot. Depending on what he plays, obviously. I don't think the Murloc is getting very much value in here at all, but... He's gonna need some RNG luck on his end. Oh god. He's gonna play something. Okay, fair enough. Okay! Time to awaken! I actually, I actually do not have any kinds of, um, I don't have any kind of Isiras in my own deck. I really would like to get one. I, I don't actually have one myself. It's one of these, well, like another one of these legendaries, right? You don't really craft too quickly. We're gonna get an Emerald Drake though, so, you know, it's not bad. I wonder actually how good it would be in this particular situation. I mean, that's still a 12 health minion, obviously, and it's still gonna be able to clear up a lot of the things off of the board, but... I mean, at least the Bouncing Blade won't be hitting it too often. I mean, well, it can hit it 12 times, right? Do we play the Bouncing Blade here? I kinda wanna. I kinda wanna. Bounce! Well, that was the most unexciting Bouncing Blade I've seen in a while, although I guess it worked out. We'll go ahead here and play the Emerald Drake. Dream! Dream once again, Ysira. We got this. We got a Nightmare. Give a minion 5-5 at the start of your next turn. Destroy it. It's a nice little way of getting some lethal here, obviously. We get um, 17 damage with that in total. Ooh, he's got Baron Gaddon. Really? He's also got a Fireball? Wow, he's actually going to be able to clean her up. Interesting. That's okay, though. We can obviously clean up Baron Gaddon as well. It's at the end of, um, of your turn, right? Yeah. Oof. I mean, I mean, why would I ever pick an Iron Fur Grizzly here, right? The first monkey is just better in every way. Am I crazy? I mean, they're both beasts. Just one is actually a little bit more in mana count, I suppose. Or like in... Um, you know, you get what I'm saying. Like, any amount of health he got. But there we also do get a Gorilla Bot. I certainly don't have any other max, but... We can actually still play him as well. That's a 3-4 for the, you know... Yeah, we'll just run that dude and I really don't want to keep him alive for any longer. And I guess we'll go for another Unstable Portal. Just because I do like options. Um, yeah, we'll go for the Gorilla Bot. Actually, obviously, he doesn't get uh, Taunt right now, but... You know, that doesn't really matter in this situation, anyway. 
It's just a mana cheaper, and we could get ourselves an unstable portal. Don't have any weapons, so that's okay, Harrison. Is it only on his turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... He should have pinged himself. Um, we got 6 damage right now. That is 11 damage in total. Not quite enough yet to really get any kinds of kills. I can go ahead and ping either of them. With the Flame Juggler. I guess we'll start off with that. Get him! Ping! Good. That's pretty nice. And then I guess we'll, you know, do a little bit more of this. Hmm. When you draw this, deal 2 damage to... Wait, what? I, I actually... I don't draw it, though. I technically did not just draw that. Um... Kinda wanna go for a bit of a taunt here. Alright, let's see what he got. Do you think it's a, uh, a mirror entity? Alright, whatever. Can he attack now? I don't actually know if you can attack in the first turn. No, you actually can't. That's okay, though. I guess it must be, um... I guess it must be an ice block at this point, right? I can ease your pain. I guess it must be an ice block at this point. I mean... Am I missing any? I hit him in the face, I hit his minions. I played a minion. The face is the place once again, Miguel. I wonder. <clears throat> it's kind of funny how Flame Leviathan uh, actually like deals damage on draw. It's pretty cool. Okay, so how much damage did we got? We got eight. Uh, eight plus four. Eight plus four is oftentimes not gonna be enough to kill him. Hmm. We can return a friendly minion. I can return him. I can return the flame juggler. Do it. Do it. Juggle him. Juggle him. Dunk. Ah, all right. That was probably the least exciting spot. That's what she said. Um. Also, I guess we're probably better off just using our hero power here anyway, right? And just going ahead and hit him in the face. Uh, we got... We got a lot of damage now. That's basically what it comes down to. We got enough damage here to finish him off. Wow! Wow! You got the perfect timing on that as well, dude. How lucky was that? Jeez. That's insane. Ugh. Okay, we got a pit fighter, which is a good minion. And we get, I guess, a Worgen Infiltrator as well. Which we'll go ahead and play all of. Um. Yep. We've got plenty of damage still. Even at this point, right, we still have uh, enough damage to finish him off. We'll bring him to 1 HP, I suppose. I'm gonna assume here that it is gonna be a nice block. We won't take a snowball, bro. Don't worry about it. If I can, I'm not gonna attack with the Worgen. I think he's gonna go ahead and try and clean up a couple of these, though. So, we got 10 damage, 11 damage, 12 damage. Ah, we may have to attack with the Worgen. I can also use my Nightmare. Nightmare may be fine. Probably would want to Nightmare the Argent, uh... Oh, really? Alright. Yeah, we'll go ahead and... You know, nightmare him. He's saying well played, so it may very well be game over. Oh, it's a counter spell. Oh, what? Oh, it's a spellbender. All right, I see. Well, at that point, at that point, uh, we, we still we still got enough damage, right? We got four. Dang it. Wanted. 
Get me. Get me. Get me. That would have been kind of insane. That would have been kind of insane. But we do pick up the victory. I think it's time to open up that card pack. I actually just also acquired enough gold to go ahead and purchase one more pack. So we got two to open up. Once again, I'm looking for Archmage Antonidas as well as Sylvanas. I'm looking for either of these cards. Oh, we got an epic. We do have ourselves an epic. Ready? Sweet. What do we have? A shadow form. All right. All right. That's a fun card to be messing around with. Definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. Ideally, we get ourselves a legendary. Although, obviously, saying that kind of jinxes, you know, the entire progress. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So you get a notification as soon as I upload more. I want to thank you all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!